For 200 years, the Crinan Canal has wound its way through the ancient kingdom of Dalriada, home to the first kings of Scotland. This picturesque feat of engineering has been a boon for industry and shipping in the past, but now serves Mid Argyll's flourishing tourism industry. The canal is a key artery for the area and is central to the aims of the Dalriada project and its plans to protect, improve and promote the natural and cultural heritage that abounds in the region. The area is home to world-renowned archaeological sites and is rich in natural heritage. The Crown Canal has always been important to the area since it opened in 1801. It provides a shortcut for craft which avoids the Mull of Kintyre. In the old days it was puffers and uh, commercial craft. Nowadays it's leisure and we have about 1,560 leisure boats come through in the summer months and it was always known as Scotland's prettiest shortcut. We'd like to make it a destination, and that's the important link between British Waterways and the Dalriada project. There's so much to see and do in Mid Argyll. We want to work with the project to create circular walkways, cycleways and things. We'll provide jetties, and people should really get off the boat, stop, get their hands on the history of Mid Argyll, and it, it's going to make it a real destination. And part of British Waterways' remit is also to double the number of tourism visitors to our towpaths, so it fits very well with our mission statement. The Dalriada project has ambitious plans to make more people aware of the attractions of an area which is arguably the most important historical region of Scotland. 9,000 years ago, Stone Age settlers utilised the fertile soil of Kilmartin Glen leaving behind their distinctive cup and ring marks across the valley. Around the 5th century, the Scotty tribes of Ireland arrived to set up the Kingdom of Dalriada and give Scotland not only its first royal bloodline, but also its name. The country's first kings were crowned at Donad Fort. Today, you can still see the footprint carved into the rock that is popularly associated with the inauguration rites of ancient rulers. The Dalriada project is really about improving access to a whole range of heritage features in, in this territory, uh, from landscapes and habitats through archaeological features and remains and other ancient monuments, uh, and also about accessing and understanding more about the cultural heritage of the area so that it makes it easier for people to understand what's important about the place and easy for them to move around when they come to visit. The project has many partners, principal among them Forestry Commission Scotland and Scottish Natural Heritage. Organisations keen to restore and conserve biodiversity in native woodlands, mires and hills that are home to some of Scotland's rarest wildlife. The Atlantic Oakwoods, Britain's own temperate rainforest, are also of huge importance. Well, we're standing in um, an example of one of the few last remnants of the Atlantic Oakwoods in Scotland, which is essentially um, Britain's um, temperate rainforest. Temperate rainforest really only occurs in relatively few places in the world where you've got high rainfall, temperate climate, etc, etc. So in world terms it's, it's pretty rare. The Atlantic Oakwoods themselves are something that only really occurs in Scotland and Ireland and France and Spain. It's very important primarily because of its scarcity, um, but it's also very important for the range of species and, and habitat types that it supports largely because of the climatic conditions here, the high rainfall produces a climate very suitable for, for a whole range of mosses and lichens and liverworts, etc., which, you know, many of which are, are, are pretty rare in the world and, and certainly very rare in Britain. It's, it's home to a whole range of, um, of Britain's most endangered wildlife, such as things like black grouse, otter, wild cat, uh, red squirrel. Um, so it's, it's a particularly important habitat, yes. The project plans to improve access to Mid Argyll by creating a network of paths and routes which will connect landscape and heritage features on land and water. 
Visitors will even be able to enjoy spectacular walkways on specially constructed bridges through the native broadleaf canopies of Napdale Forest or ride across new cycleways through the wilderness. It's a good mixture, good mixture of trails, drops, uh, some good jumps, good water crossings, and really nice scenery. So this is the first time we've come out this far west, but uh, quite pleased that we did this today. Look at the view that we have, it's, uh, it's wonderful. It's um, almost on the doorstep, it's accessible. Um, so I'm quite pleased with it overall. All the attractions will be linked using the latest computer technology at interactive hubs giving tourists a wealth of information as they travel around the region. The benefits of the project to the local population and businesses are numerous. More tourists mean a thriving economy, which benefits not only hotels and restaurants, but also the area's industry. It's a very, very big industry indeed, and it's very, very important that we work hard to continue to promote it and to work with projects such as Dauriada to actually attract a greater number of visitors to this area. In terms of fishing, walking, sightseeing, it's one of the most beautiful parts of Scotland. The Dalriada project is funded mainly by the Heritage Lottery Fund, but has many partners and backers who see the sense in investing in an area of Scotland which has had little promotion in the past, but is rich in history and culture. What sort of other things do you find at Dunard? The site has been excavated a few times, and the last big excavations, they found huge amounts of um, evidence that would point to potentially metal working going on at the site. And this is a replica brooch that's been made um, based on one of the clay moulds that were found. Um, we've got evidence of gold working as well as iron working. Um, this weapons, um, spearheads, and also we know that they had very wide-ranging trade links. Everywhere you go in Mid-Argyle you stumble across ancient monuments or mysterious standing stones. It's a very special part of Scotland that deserves special recognition. The Dalriada project is a long-term plan, which is ambitious in its aims, but some see it as a model that could be transported to other parts of the country or even abroad. The ancient kingdom of Dalriada still guards many secrets of the past. The project hopes to unlock some of those secrets so that future generations will be able to enjoy the landscape, nature and culture that together make up the unique heritage of Dalriada. <laughs>